Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can load and store machine learning model in R programming. We will be using a diabetes data set in which we will be classifying whether a particular person is infected with the diabetes or not. Right? So the data set which we are going to use, this is the data set. And in this data set, if you notice that there are total 768 instances are there and uh, eight classes are there that's mean uh, it's not actually eight class it is actually the eight number of features are there and out of those we need to classify two classes yes or no so yes means a person is infected with the diabetes no means person is not infected with the diabetes and uh, these are the total out of these actually we have only eight so out of these nine, we have total eight. Uh, eight uh, out of these eight input features, we will be classifying whether a particular person have a diabetes or not. All right, perfect. So this is the data set which we are gonna use. And apart from that, we will be also using there the LDA. LDA is uh, linear discriminant analysis. And uh, this LDA works on the feature reduction uh, process or you can say the data transformation algorithms so in the form of the data transformation we apply lda or another type of the algorithm which is the pca but the pca only does the data transformation but here lda does the data transformation plus the classification right for example if you see this particular data set so let's say these are the two classes all right this class and this class and uh, in your data set if the projection is from here this side then you will not be able to you will not be able to discriminate this and this class because uh, if you look it from this side you will see that these two classes are overlapping to each other so that's the process of lda it actually transforms the data in the way that these two classes can be separated right so from this side this lda can actually project the data from this side so if you look this data from this side you will find out that these are the two classes which are quietly you know uh, uh, separated to each other uh, the similarly you can see here uh, the another one so in this what you see there if you see this data without any projection or the data transformation which we are going to do in this lecture you will see that these two classes are quite mixed to each other right and uh, if we project this data in a such a way that these two classes this one the round one and this the delta one or the triangular one can be classified so in this way you see the classification would be a little simpler than this one moreover in this way you can actually apply a linear classifier to classify with very much accuracy but here you may need to apply a very complex algorithm or non-linear algorithm to classify and even after that you may not be able to get the quite good accuracy all right so that's how this lda works that's what we are going to see in this particular lecture all right and we will be using here a carrot library that i'll tell you in a later in, in some time all right so this one is r studio which i am currently using and uh, i'll be also storing the data here in our uh, model so currently i have set this home and r this is my working directory you can set that from here as well set as the working directory or any directory you can set as the working directory then there i have made here a model folder is here so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna delete this model so that i can show you in uh, uh, you know the real time how i would create that model all right so that's the deleted there now here you see this one actually clear the workspace so i'm gonna simply run this you can simply press shift and enter to run it so it will here run and then advance to the next line right otherwise you can also press here uh, the control and the enter depends on your r studio how you have set that I have said that in such a way that if I press shift and the enter it will actually execute a line and then it will move to the another line. Alright so thereafter I am going to load the library here from here. 
so i load the libraries but before loading the libraries definitely i need to actually install the libraries all right so i i need to install these packages here e1071 package the caret package and the ml bench package so you can select all these together all these together and then you can press the control and the enter thereafter you will see that it will start the installation and it says that uh, do you want to restart the r prior to installing so whatever you press here okay that doesn't matter okay it says that something went wrong i'm gonna restart a new session here all right don't worry about that here i start it again from here okay perfect run it here okay this is installing so it will install all the dependencies when dependency is equal to the true it will install this package along with the whatever other dependencies are needed for this particular package thereafter it's it's going to install here the another one the caret package all right so for this caret package all right the caret packages are installed and other dependencies are also being installed here and once this is installed then we will install the ml bench the ml bench is like the benchmarking tool where uh, uh, we can use this ml bench to calculate uh, the accuracy or evaluate the machine learning model right so it may take a while to install this completely let's go ahead and wait for some time so it has successfully installed that one let's go ahead and install this ml bench as well so it's again going to install all the dependencies which are actually dependent on the ml bench all right so everything here uh, install your now let's go ahead and include these packages in your r session so here i have a caret and the ml bench these are actually included the another thing which i wanted to show you all the machine learning algorithms and machine learning models which is included in the caret so there is the link it is provided here and that's that that one is available here and if you look here these are the total number of models available for the caret so any of these models you can use for the classification so many models are actually used for classification and regression as well and few models are actually used for only regression and few only for classification so you can select any of these model your algorithm will work there okay so definitely you can select here anything like the new ways you can select or any other variants of the new new ways or any other models from this caret all right perfect so thereafter once you uh, understand this the caret package there then uh, we are going to actually load the data set the data set which we have already seen in the kaggle this the data set so this data is actually included here and uh, then i'm going to actually create here 80 20 percent the training and the validation data set all right so i'm just going to run it here and this says that the validation index based on that validation index i get the validation data and thereafter the training data now you see here the training data have here and the total number of uh, data set is here 768 there and if you remember here it was as well the 768 data was there all right so based on that it has total 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and the total 9 actually right okay so the total it has total 9 so uh, out of these 9 we have all and out of these 9 one column is used for output all right perfect so it says that the pregnant the pregnant is says that the number of times a particular person got pregnant there all right so in case of the women definitely it is uh, pregnant and if it is the zero this can be women or men but when there is the pregnant greater than zero then definitely this is going to be the women all right thereafter there is the glucose level the blood pressure and then you have here this uh, the skin fold thickness there triceps insulin is there and uh, thereafter you have here this mass and then this the pedigree and then age all these parameters input parameters are being used to find out if particular person is suffering from the diabetes or not all right perfect so we have got our validation data set and the training data set thereafter let's go ahead and create the control to train our model 
so with this actually we are setting here seed zero so that you can also get the exact result if you put the set seed equal to zero the train control provide us to control how we are going to train our model so there is the cross validation and uh, we are going to use here the tenfold cross validation to train our model so let's go ahead and run this we have now got the control thereafter we need to train our model so here we are providing our uh, complete you know uh, the data set here this one the diabetes so thereafter this the data is there all right so this one is actually not the uh, this this one just the name of the model all right the way we are going to actually use it thereafter it provides there the data equal to the training data and then the method we are providing here the LDA and the metric which we are going to use here the accuracy all right and the training control is going to come from here so let's go ahead and create our model once our model is there it is actually now trained our model let's go ahead and print the model so in this model we have got the accuracy of 77.87% and uh, thereafter out of this tenfold cross validation it automatically get here the final model all right so the final model is here uh, these are the output for the final mo model all right thereafter once you get all these model let's go ahead and do the prediction on the validation data set to find out how much accuracy we are getting here so on this one uh, on the validation data set we are getting accurate actually the accuracy of around the 68.42 uh, percent in case of the LDA but if we use here the random forest we can simply use here RF and then we can retrain our model and find out how much how much accuracy we are gonna get with the random forest uh, algorithm so the random forest algorithm gives just the 66.86 percent and apart from that you can select here any classification uh, algorithm here maybe uh, we can select here this one the tree bag algorithm and then we can provide it here so that uh, it can create the model and then the train the model let's go ahead and see the accuracy here this one is a little less accuracy which is just 61 percent the similarly you can test all these algorithm and then you can finally select which one is working best in your case all right perfect so you can select any of uh, here whatever uh, you see these now right so you can select any of these algorithms from here all right maybe here let's go ahead and select the SVM let's see if this SVM works better than what we have there all right so uh, sorry there it, it is asking that it need to install few packages I said yes install those packages if needed all right so it needed uh, uh, this linear uh, SVM package there let it done okay thereafter we will run it here and then we will see how much accuracy it is gonna produce so it's again 62.2 percent so in any case we were getting a good accuracy with our LDA model all right so LDA model was getting us um, giving us uh, almost 68.42 uh, percent all right and the, thereafter let's say you have your model and uh, now how you can store your model so that you can use it uh, later so you can simply call this save RDS and then you can provide the model instance here and then you can provide here uh, the place where you want to store it and if you run it here the save model so it will this dot says that your current working directory thereafter there is the model uh, directory and inside that it's going to install store that particular model there right so let's go ahead and uh, see that so we should have that inside r let me see if we have that inside r okay so here it is R let's go ahead and see here inside this R do you see there we 
do not have anything related uh, a, 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 any model there right so any model folder is not all right so quickly we need to first create here a model folder so there is the model folder thereafter if you run this you will see there this model will be stored inside our model folder you need to refresh it just refresh it okay seems like it is not there the reason is uh, we need to actually make this as our working directory first thereafter we can run this save rds and uh, then you can see inside this model model is stored thereafter we can load this model in new variable lda model then let's go ahead and test this model and finally we get here the same accuracy you can use this model anywhere you can download it or you can uh, place it somewhere else so you have successfully created your machine learning model you have also saved it on a local machine and then finally you have loaded it into a new variable and then in last you have tested your machine learning model all right so this is all about in this lesson thanks a lot for watching it bye bye take care